Ladies and gentlemen, I will introduce him, not as somebody who is the topper, who is a winner of the Physics Olympiad, not as somebody who is a rank holder in an entrance exam, but rather as someone who, although is not the son of the Khans or the Kapoos, is still hitting double centuries at the box office. He is dashing, he is dynamic. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the winner of the Youth Icon 2016. I request you all to give a huge round of applause to welcome Sushant Singh Rajpur! Rahul to please present Sushant with a bouquet. The stage is ours. Thank you so much for that. I have this habit of carrying chits in colleges, so... <laughs> well, uh, before we get going, I have a confession to make. Uh, I became an actor because I had a problem. I was an introvert. You know, I'm, I'm the youngest in my family. And I was so pampered in, in uh, my house that when I used to step out, I uh, didn't know how to deal with people. So I, I gradually I became this very shy introvert kid who could not talk. Well, I still cannot talk. And uh, I have this stage fright. So in case, um, so what I do generally as an actor is I hide behind all these fascinating characters and uh, then I'm confident. But uh, like right now, as I'm not acting, so there are problems that I'll screw it up. Uh, so excuse me if I falter. Excuse me if I don't make sense. Excuse me if I get a panic attack right now. <laughs> but I'll try my best. We love you anyway! <laughs> All right. I would love to share my journey with you, my learnings, and in case you decide to drop out and uh, join me in Bollywood, it will come very handy. So, uh, I was thinking in the car, what do I talk about? What can I tell you that you already don't know? I'm assuming and I think most probably you guys are way much more smarter and uh, better than what I was when I was your age. You know, you know, already know about the cutthroat competition. You know the importance of hard work, perseverance, and uh, vision, focus, self-belief, and etc., etc. So I don't need to talk about that. But after deep thinking, I, I, I zeroed down into two things that I can actually discuss about. These two things talk about chasing your dreams and actually living your dreams, which unfortunately nobody mentioned to me when I was starting out. And those two things are, can I write them? Can you see this board? Is it a magnet? I 
always wanted to do this in front of uh, professors, so I just... <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, so yeah, so those two things are the biggest lie and the only truth about success that I was told about. Now the biggest lie was money plus recognition is equal to happiness is equal to success. So let me begin by mentioning that I come from a very um, middle class family. And when I was growing up, money was a big, big, big differentiator in my life. Also in uh, the three generations of my family that I know of, that are documented, nobody knew what fame uh, felt like. So basically, uh, both uh, money, and recognition were missing when I started out. So I already started out as a failure. Let me be very precise. My family told me that I had to become an engineer. Medicals were booked for my sisters. Uh, yeah. So once I'm an engineer, then I can, uh, you know, try a civil services examination, and then probably, yeah, that will be like opening the doors for all kind of happiness, and I'll be forever successful. I'll be forever happy. This is the conditioning that I experienced when I was growing up. All right, fair enough. Good deal. So I became very good in studies. Did fairly well in my 10th board exams. And then off I went to Delhi for my plus two. Got myself enrolled in a nice school. And uh, with them in there and Fiji and half a dozen of uh, uh, other coaching institutes. And uh, I used to share my room with three other similar aspirants. What it meant was, every day after finishing my assignments, school assignments, and preparing for my engineering entrance exam, I had to wash my clothes, and I had to cook food for myself. But I wasn't complaining. Well, it was worth it, because after all, I was, for the very first time in my life, I was so close to become successful for the first time in my life. So yeah, finally I slogged, I got selected for several engineering colleges and I decided to take admission in Delhi College of Engineering which is now known as DTU, thank you. Are you my senior or junior? <laughs> So yeah, so uh, there was a celebration like this in my family too. <laughs> I could finally stop for a while and breathe, you know. I was telling myself that, you know what, now you have made it. You should be happy because you are supposed to be happy. But it wasn't working that much. Something was missing. There was a void that I could feel. So I, I thought maybe something bigger was required. For some, reason, for some reason, incessantly, while uh, the first 18, 19 years of my life, the future me was much happier, much successful than the present me. So I was like, all right, fine. So I was forcing myself. I promised, uh, as I promised, I started preparing for civil services examination. And I was forcing myself to slog, uh, but I was bored. UPS, UPSC exams were still far away. In the meantime, I thought of doing theater and uh, I thought to learn dance because uh, to counter the, the <clears throat> shyness that I had, still have, and also because there were no girls in my engineering college for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I felt cheated, man. We, you slog so much, you crack the entrance exam and you find that there are no girls. So, <laughs> yeah, so somebody told me that there are very uh, good looking girls in dance uh, schools. So I was like, fine, I'll go there. <laughs> And uh, once I started with performing arts, I knew one thing for sure. I knew that I quite liked it. And three years later, imagine me sitting in the campus, and I'm thinking, all right, I'm really interested in performing arts. And all I want to do is to earn money and to be recognized. So if I become a movie star, Hmm. I actually was very serious and I dropped out of my college in the third year when I was just two semesters away from getting the degree, engineering degree. 
came to Mumbai, got heavily into theatre and also other skills that I thought were necessary to become an actor. And uh, by the way, this time I stayed with six other guys in a single room kitchen. But this time I was prepared for it. This time, there was one difference. I was driven. My self-respect was at stake. My ex-college mates, one of them is sitting right here in black shirt, uh, they thought that I was that disaster that folks in engineering and B schools should never become. So I had to prove a point to everybody. I had to prove a point to my family. Most importantly, I had to prove a point to myself. And this was the time when I was also a background dancer. So I was dancing behind all the possible stars that you can think of, Shah Rukh Khan, Shahid Kapoor, everybody. And I was thinking, I was thinking to myself while I was performing, okay, it's just three steps away, there I have to get. And uh, everything will be sorted. And I kept going like that. And two years later, guess what? I got myself my first big break. I was selected for a prime time show on a TV. Now hear me out, it was a seriously a big break. Because I started earning. People started recognizing me. To be honest, I would deliberately go and roam in all these malls so that people could look at me, smile, ask for my photo. And I was watching myself on TV for the first time. You have no idea how it feels for somebody like me to, uh, you know, I was looking at me for, and I was looking at myself every day on TV. It was a big, big, big high. I also suddenly discovered that I actually had many friends who were like, well, absent all this while, but suddenly they popped up. <laughs> and uh, the show became popular. I was making good money to a point that money stopped being a differentiator in my life. And I was becoming more and more popular. Now, I cannot go to all those malls that I was going all alone. So I wanted somebody to be with me, to save me. So, you know what I'm saying. I bought myself my first dream house. I bought myself my dream car. And just a note to you as well. I was getting such female attention that my engineering college friends could only possibly dream of. <laughs> so I was having a time of my life. And then something unusual happened. I got used to everything. And I felt cheated. I stayed with all these dreams for 10 and 15 years of my life. I was promised happiness and I was promised success. But all these things stayed with me just for a few days. And I'm punctuating me because I started from zero money and zero recognition. So I was not happy. How can that it be? I didn't like this version of success. And the future me again was luring the present me. But this time, I decided otherwise. I would do something else. I, so that gets us to the second point, which is the only truth. Uh, I won't take too much time. I'll just try to keep it short. I figured something. I figured that something, seemingly big things, were not that big once I got them. And looking back in the past, I realized that maybe smaller things were way bigger. And there was one thing that was missing in my life that was the cause of this illusion. And that thing that was missing was now. I was, all these years, just, I was obsessed about what's gonna happen. I used to draw those flowcharts that we are, uh, we are taught in schools. 
But if this happens, I'll do that. And uh, six months from now, I'll be here. So I wanted to be in control. I was so obsessed about my future. I was taking the entire responsibility about the past. But all I was doing was frequently swinging from past to future, not living in actual sense. Well, <clears throat> I also figured that when I perform on stage or in front of camera, I'm so much excited. I am so much interested. I was paying so much attention that there was no room to think about future or the past. I was just there in the moment. I was alive in true sense when I was performing. And for the first time, trust me, in a long time, I understood the true meaning of success, which was not money plus recognition, but it was now plus excitement. This realization happened in 2011, and it has been five years. Now let me share another very short uh, story with you. When I was in school, 4 to 5.30 p.m. was the time when I was allowed to go out and play. I was asked to be an engineer, but the entire day I, was, I used to wait for 4 p.m. to happen. I would step out and the next one and a half hours felt like five minutes. <laughs> I didn't understand uh, this then, but now very honestly, very confidently, I can tell you this, that I am living that 4 to 5.30 life right now, since last five years. <laughs> cause and effects are, no, are, are not different. Excitement is the cause, excitement is the effect. I get hired again and again, because all these success mantras that we talk about, you know, hard work, belief, focus, vision, risk taking, talent, perseverance, we can go on and on. But all these success mantras are now the side effects of the process itself. I'm so engaged, I'm so, it commands my attention so much that there is nothing else that I can think about. So hard work doesn't feel, feels like hard work. And there's nothing else that you can do but to uh, persist. Talent you will cultivate. Vision you will get. Focus, there is no other way because it's, 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 it's commanding your attention so much. So, here I am right now, five years uh, down the line. Money and fame, although still could not earn back their reputation in my life. But let me show you one thing. I have much more of them than I had ever planned. And the best thing, uh, my college, uh, one of the professors was very dear to me, called me recently uh, about uh, asking me to plan this interaction with students. And I very humbly requested that can I get my degree back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's... Uh, it's happening and I'm very excited again. Thank you so much. Yes. Somebody's called. Oh, you will never do that. At least no one ever has done it. But he took off his coat and took off his hat. And the first thing he knew, he had begun it. With a lift of his chin and a bit of a grin. With a lift, Without any doubting or credit, he started to sing as he tackled the thing. That couldn't be done, and he did it. That probably sums up Sushant's story so far. Sushant, thank you so much for your inspirational words. And uh, we'll now open the stage for some Q&A. Yes. Sure. <laughs> Audience questions, please. That's about your In college. <laughs> With a real question, now please stand up. <laughs> yeah. What was your ragging in college? After what ragging? 
Darf ich noch mal? Can I ask you to dance? He asked me to dance. Uh, and for some reason he gave me a second prize. Who did you give the first prize to? I don't know. <laughs> Very bad vision, let me say. Shaz, how does it feel to be M.S. Dhoni? Well, in my first film, I played this character who was a failed cricketer. And uh, he was, yeah, although I love him, but st still, unfortunately, he was this district level cricketer and a failed cricketer. And in two years, I became the captain of Indian cricket team. <laughs> that gets you so excited that you cannot think about anything else, then the another year, wasting another year was, was a most stupidest thing that I could have done. Uh, I just dropped out. If you're a successful actor, then I'll be an unsuccessful engineer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After the college dropout, if you have a struggle period, then what do you do? Practicing. Our, I think, now it's valid. We have seven years to complete eight semesters. So, I have four years to complete eight semesters. So, I have four years to complete eight semesters. So, I have four years to complete eight semesters. So, I have four years to complete eight semesters. Thankfully, it's not that I didn't learn. Hi, Sushant. What has been your toughest decision in life today? I think the first decision of dropping out of the college because in my family, everybody is a doctor, IAS officer or something like that. I'm the youngest one. I was supposed, I was going in the slog over, so I was, I mean, I was supposed to be, to make it big. And uh, I did. I was right there. I was getting scholarship from, top uh, MBA schools, um, but somehow I backed myself up and I dropped, dropped Why out. Why do you think that made you do this? Like, uh, being an MBA student in life, you always have to take decisions for the company. And it will be like, you are through it or you are not through it. And it was the same situation for you. So what do you think made you do that? To prefer what I want to do over what I'm supposed to do. Uh, Sushant, just a note, uh, she's also winner of the fan contest that was run uh, in the build-up to the event. Well, can I shake your hand? <laughs> I wanted to be here, but I just couldn't make it. So yeah, I'm very honored to be here right now and uh, answering your questions. <laughs> stage pe aane? Do you see all of us stage pe aane ka wala show gaya? Aaj aaj. Sorry. Bhalo. 
Tabi vardı. सारे मेरे जूनियर्स हो I got injured so many times while I was training for MS Dhoni. Trust me, I would never uh, be a cricketer in my life. It's a very great question that you ask, and I think we all we make logic of everything only when we look backwards. It doesn't help us when we are looking forwards. You know what I mean. Uh, so if you if you have a different point of view, you would think that dropping out of the engineering college in third year, then uh, quitting TV when I was at my peak, were like uh, very strange decisions, but uh, they were not. Uh, because I don't see theater to TV to films. I also uh, dwell in theater for five years. So uh, I don't see theater to TV to films as an organic progression. I act and I do it not to prove a point to anybody. I do it because of this equation I have with the work that I do. You put a TV camera in front of me, you put a film camera in front of me, you put a live audience in front of me, I do the same. I just another note for Shah, she was placed second in the contest. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hello? This is what you get when you make it big. Hello? Hello, Sushant? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... Okay, okay. You can't get GDT, you can't get GDT. Hi, Shant. Hi. Hi. I'm really a uh, very big fan of yours and I'm watching you since you're playing Preet and uh, on the TV. Preet and Manav. So, I just want to ask how does it feel for you from Preet and Manav to MS Dhoni? How does it feel? So the reason of doing it and the excitement itself, they have never changed. Only, only my bank balance has changed. For sure. Yeah, that's what you said when someone asked you how does it feel to be Mano or Dano. And you answered, uh, becoming a Dano is like you will get more money. Are you a stalker? <laughs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Sir, you said that you live the moment, you enjoy what you do, you are always excited. So basically, sir, you have to success for your success. Excitement. Sir, my question is, sir, do you ever drive this success for your success? One day, I will become a big star, I will take a big poster. I just said that. When I started, I thought that if it happens, then something will happen. But when it happens, then nothing will happen. You get used to it very quickly. You get used to it in any situation. So if you want to prove people that you are the best, then you will get used to it. 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 
तो आप ये करते रहेंगे जैसे वो कहावत है ना कि इफ इवन इफ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ यू विन द रैट रेस यू आर स्टिल अ रैट तो आप वही करते रहेंगे जिंदगी भर You are just not concerned about what's going to happen. Let me assure you that you will still be very successful if that's what concerns you. But uh, it doesn't matter to you. Hello, Fine. hello, Sushant. Uh, to be really honest, when we first time heard that Sushant is going to play M S Dhoni, so we were talking about whether he will be able to do it. So no doubt about it. But I am thinking that the whole world is thinking that he will be able to do it. यू डिड इट ब्रिलियंटली बट यही क्वेश्चन आपको आया था कि देखो एम एस धोनी एक अलाइव कैरेक्टर है जो ऑलरेडी फेमस है बहुत सारे फैन है एक अलग कैरेक्टर परफॉर्म करना जो नहीं है और जो एक कैरेक्टर है अभी जो ऑल इंडिया फेमस ऑल वर्ल्ड फेमस है तो हाउ डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज दैट ब्रिज फॉर यू सो आपने भी ऐसे सोचा था कि कर पाऊंगा मैं या फिर यार वही तो मैं बोल रहा हूँ आई थिंक देर इज अ पैटर्न टू ऑल दी आंसर गेमिंग saying is you are fidgety only when you are concerned about what people are going to think you are there in the future that's what i'm talking about i am not there in the future i am i am my film like my last film which i did donkish bakshi didn't turn out to be a blockbuster it ran, barely managed to break even but i slogged thank you so much i slogged yeah, i'm like equally in donkish too and right now when i look back i'm equally proud of vimkesh as dhoni so it doesn't matter to me what people would think it all that matters is my equation of my work that's it thank you sir i'll be the fan contest do you think i can get a handshake handshake yes you want your hug but you can come oh uh, actually we can do like I'm not really scared. I'm just kidding. I'm a really big fan. Okay, what management? You can be an actor. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Yeah, well, if you don't know this place where you were just sitting, this is the theater of IIT Bombay. Like every act, yeah, every every theater, theater, theater you perform. Know, right? Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Well, so, uh, what is the question? Sorry. What would you like? What would you say to the actors who perform theater at IIT? What advice would you like to give them? Just know the why of what you do, uh, and that why could be anything. Like I have friends uh, who are actors. They just want to be famous. Fine. or they just want to be rich fine so no why is wrong every why is right but as long as you know it you're aware of it and you're honest to it that's it hi sushant sir thank you hello hi hi sushant i'm here <laughs> uh, actually enough of i think formal versions are so much can we have a bit of dance from you on the song gulabi i i have stopped dancing so hard uh, since uh, as i said i was a background dancer and uh, i picked up a very bad habit of dancing only when i'm paid <laughs> so <laughs> i'm so sorry to disappoint you but i'm not uh, actually ready for it uh, right now you like to see some ms dhoni yes uh, where is this voice coming from right ah sorry <laughs> Acha do you want me to say some line? Yeah, you like that. Kharak Purush ka dialogue. I like the mother's dialogue which also worked for me uh before the time she actually became my mother in the film. But uh she says something like humko lagta hai ki ye itne usse manne wala nahi hai. Guys, I apologize, but that was the last request. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, please, please, last one. Hello. One last question, please. Hello, hello. That's me, I guess. Hello. Trust Shushan? me. Trust me if I. Shishan, please. Where are you? Ah, hey, hey. That means tall, tall guy. No, I can hear you. Just, just, just say. 
See, truth be told, uh, I just think you're a cool person, but my girlfriend really loves you. Please, for her, like, for her sake, can I have your autograph, please? Of course you can. You are sure you have a girlfriend, right? Thank you. All right, thank you so much, guys.